so uh, tutorial on bouncing ball uh, frame by frame hand drawn in flash um, I'm going to only use the brush tool for this and um, what I'll be doing is simply I'm going to draw a ground line name my layer then I will draw my arcing line and or arch sort of it's really a guideline there we go so I got my ground line and then I'm gonna have my guideline and I'm gonna do this in I'll do it in a pale blue sort of color and I'm going to simply just draw the movement of where the ball will be animating. So it's going to animate starting here, bounce, arc, bounce, arc, bounce, arc. So there's my lines. And a couple things um, to be aware of are on these arcing points is where the ball will slow down in momentum and speed quite a bit. So each one of these notches represents a keyframe on where the ball will be, approximately. And as it reaches further down, you will have less and less of these. And as it reaches back up, it will start to do something that's as it descends, so something like that. Um, we have lots of uh, keyframes here to draw because the ball slows down in speed, and then as it gains momentum going down, it bounces, it falls faster because of gravity, um, and it accelerates quicker towards the ground. Then it bounces, makes contact at this point, and then it accelerates quickly off the recoil and then it slows down at the arcing point. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer. That'll be my um, my guideline that I'm going to follow. And this will be my ball. And I'm going to do it in black. And my guideline I can also right click and turn into a guide layer. This way I won't see it when I uh, export it out as a Swift. And now I'll change my color to black and I will begin to draw this frame by frame. I'm going to use F7 to uh, create in blank keyframes. And I'm also going to turn on this little tool called the onion skin. And what this tool does is it allows you to see frames before and after depending on your brackets. And we'll, I'll show you how that works after I get a couple frames drawn in. So I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to press F7 and you'll see I'm seeing the previous frame here and this is my blank keyframe that I'm currently on. So I'm going to simply go ahead and do my squash and stretch as well. And I'm going to do one more. And here's where I'm going to actually have a squash. Um, you can have a lot of frames here um, to be totally sure. If the ball was quickly bouncing recoil, or you can get really squishy with it, like I'm about to do, just for fun. And now I'm going to have it start to animate back up.
and I'm just pressing F7 for every frame. And I'll have it start to leave the ground at this point. And now I'll have it start to return back to its normal shape. So when I play it back, And that's what I got. So I'm going to continue pushing forward with this. And I'm going to have it start to stretch. And then I'll have it start to squash. And I'll do one more, get that really squishy effect. And then I'll have it start to bounce back into and then I'll have it start to leave the ground. And here's where it will start to Turn back to its okay. Make it really squishy here again. And I do that just for exaggeration and just to make it a little bit more fun for me. So now I play it back, and that's what I got. So there's the bouncing ball. Um, pretty fun to do, and pretty simple. It's just a matter of drawing a whole bunch of frames. This is uh, 48 frames, so this is two seconds. Um, not too bad. But uh, as you can see here, it doesn't have that guideline. If I were to turn this back to a standard guide and press Command Return, you'll see that line there. So that was my uh, guide. And now I'll turn it off so you can't see it. And you'll see that it bounces just straightly right across the screen with that squishy effect. Um, and that is all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.